Now, there are many in the Church of God today that still say, well, if this person is in error, God will work it out. That if he's up there saying he's God's apostle and God's anointed and we should listen to him and so on, if he's wrong, God will work it out. But you know, God has already given you the tools to work it out. And that tool is this book in front of me called the Bible. And that the Bible says that we should try the spirits to see whether they are of God. And it says in 1 John, the first, in 1 John, the fourth chapter. Notice what it says here. It says, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits. Put them to the test to see whether they are of God. Because many false prophets are gone out into the world. So there are many false prophets false teachers that are out in the world, and he says to put them to the test. Jesus Christ said the same thing in Revelation, the second chapter, verse 2. I know your works and your labor and your patience, and how you cannot bear them which are evil, and you have tried them which say they are apostles and are not, and have found them liars. Now, it's interesting how false apostles and false prophets are still in the church of God. And why are they still there? Why are they still leading the church? Well, because people don't listen to these scriptures. They don't try the spirits. They don't put them to the test to see whether they are of God, to see whether they are liars or not. Because if they did, then these people wouldn't be there right now. Now, as we did in a, a few broadcasts in the past, we put some of these so-called apostles and, and uh, teachers to the test, like Revelation, uh, Gerald Flurry with his uh, Revelation, the 10th chapter, the little book. He claims that Malachi's message is the little book. We put it to the test. And how do we do that? With the Bible. How do we understand doctrine? Line upon line. Here a little, there a little, precept upon precept. Do what the Bereans did to search the scriptures daily to see whether these things are so. Prophecy of scriptures of no private interpretation and so on. To the law and to the testimony. If they don't speak according to this word, that means there is no light in them, the Bible says. And we put these theories up against the scriptures and we found that what he says was false. Same thing with David C. Pack and his theory about when the temple is going to be rebuilt and so on and his timing of when this temple is going to be rebuilt and the timing of the second coming of Jesus Christ and we prove to you that it's all false. Why? Because we put it up against the Bible. Few people in the Church of God do that anymore because if they did well then Flurry and Pack and a lot of these other people wouldn't be leading the church of God today. Why? Because people have stopped critical of thinking critically, of putting these people to the test. They are just taking in everything that the preacher says without any critical thinking whatsoever.